Hi, everyone. My name is Anna Martha Ayala, and I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. On this channel, I try to teach you all the degree theory by Nikola Stojanovic. In today's video, I wanted to talk about March 2024's aspects and how it will affect us. So um, I wanted to begin by mentioning that I only do the Ptolemy aspects, which um, in reality, there's the sextile, the trine, the conjunction, the square, and the opposition. But in these videos, I don't do the sextile because to me, it's just a small opportunity. Um, so I focus on the other four. All right. So just so you that you all know. In addition to that, Use these aspects and look at your natal chart and see if you have any planets uh, in proximity, which is called a conjunction, or in trine, which is the nice blue line on astro.com. Sextile is the shorter um, line. Um, the red short line is a square and the long red line is an opposition, okay? So on March the 3rd, we have uh, Venus square Uranus. Venus is at 18 degrees in Aquarius, and it is squaring Uranus um, in Taurus at 19 degrees. So if you are in a relationship, this might be a difficult aspect in love or in business also, because Venus rules both um, love and money. So in addition to that, um, Venus and Uranus are in something that's called mutual reception in astrology. Why or what is mutual reception is the ruler of one sign is in another sign and that ruler of that other sign is in the first sign. So the ruler of Venus is Horus, right? And Venus is now in Aquarius. And the ruler of Aquarius, which is Uranus, is now in Taurus. That Those positions um, is called a, a mutual res reception so that if you guys don't know what it means, that's what it means. Um, so March the 8th, Mercury at 25th degrees, at 25 degrees is in conjunction with Neptune at 27 degrees in Pisces. So if you have planets um, between 25 and 27 or within a, a three degree orb, then you have a higher chance of having something actually happen or affect you, okay? And this is a, a great aspect for creativity, um, you know, creative ideas, artistic ideas, or maybe you think um, about your religion, Pisces, Neptune, or spiritual ideas and beliefs, your thinking, Mercury, um, and Neptune has everything to do with, like I said, creativity, artistic pursuits, spiritual studies, um, your spiritual beliefs. You can daydream a little bit too, right? Because Neptune is the, the planet of fairy tales. Um, so again, the orbs are, the strongest is within three degrees as you get further away. Well, yeah, something can happen, but it's, it's less of a chance. And if you don't have any planets there or any of your angles, your angles are not at these degrees, then, you know, just go on your daily living. Uh, March the 9th, we have Mars square Uranus. Uh, Mars is in um, Aquarius and Uranus is in uh, Taurus. So, you know, careful with um, your temper or you're, you're quick at, you know, coming back at somebody, you know, like quick and sudden reactions to situations, discussions that might come up. Um, Mercury is entering Aries 
That's why I'm saying about communications and Mars is the ruler of Aries. So careful with your words being too rash or too quick to just, you know, like with a comeback, right? Because sometimes Aries speaks and then thinks that, oops, I, you know, I shouldn't have said that, but, you know, it's too late because it's out. Um, so just be mindful of the way that you speak during this time. March the 10th, we have a new moon in Pisces at 20 degrees. Uh, so it's a very positive time for your imagination, which is Pisces. Uh, creative ideas, artistic ideas, painting, dancing. Um, those are ruled by Pisces. Um, also photography. You can take beautiful, very creative pictures at this time. So if you are a photographer, which is something ruled by Pisces, um, you know, see what you can create. On March 11th, Venus enters Pisces. And this is notable because um, Venus is exalted in Pisces. On the 17th, you have the sun at 26 degrees of Pisces conjunct Neptune at 27 degrees. So they're only 27 minutes apart. And that is amazing. So this um, conjunction might, for some people, um, you might help somebody in need or you might donate time to a charity or you just may be more compassionate today. If you see a homeless person, you just might decide to give them a little bit of money or, or give them a sandwich or something like that. Kind of like the, the compassion is, is high for that day, right? Uh, March 19th, the sun enters Aries. So this is the vernal equinox, like where you know, spring begins. Uh, this is the equivalent of the astrology's uh, new year. March 21st, Venus at 11 degrees conjuncts Saturn at 12 degrees and Pisces. So, you know, like I, like I have said before, conjunctions can be good or not so good. Um, this one, you know, makes you very serious and realistic today about business and work if you're taking the Venus as a money um you know the money portion of Venus and then maybe your mm, long-term partner um you know you you might be thinking about them a lot or you might want to do something together with them so um you know this is this is good for I can call it long-term relationships because in synastry, the planet that holds the two people together is actually Saturn, okay? But like I said, conjunctions can be good or not so good. Um, March 22nd, Mars enters Pisces. Um, Mars is not, doesn't feel all that great in Pisces, but you know, it is what it is. So don't procrastinate. Just you know that Mars is not feeling good. So your energy, you need to make up for it, make a note of it so you can just finish the things that you need to finish. March 25th, there is a full moon in Libra at five degrees. This is a difficult uh, full moon. Uh, you know, five degrees is, the Leo degree, which is all about romance, and it is the full moon in Libra, which is about relationships. So if you are in a relationship, it may be difficult to read your partner. Um, so if something happens, don't read, don't make any decisions um very quickly until you have the whole picture. Okay. Just take it a little bit slow. Um, don't react at least around the full moon, until you get all of the information. And then lastly, uh, March 31st, Jupiter Jupiter starts to get close to Uranus. So it's within a three-degree orb for that conjunction that's coming on April 20th of Uranus conjuncting Jupiter. Um, 
But I will make a separate video just on that conjunction, and I will do that. So, like you know, by sign, give you a, a general um, discussion of what that means, and then um, also by sign because Jupiter conjunct Uranus again. There any conjunction, it can be good or not so good. So anyway, um, thank you for watching. This is, uh, it, you know, March is a brief uh, month and not too many things happening. Um, February was a tougher month. So if you have um, enjoyed this video, please give it a, a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and send it to somebody that mm, it might help. If you would like an astrology and natal chart reading with me, please send me an email to amaastrology at aol.com. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in uh, the next video.